Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Macman here. Now you might be wondering why I have a $3 million painting in my hand. Well, we'll get into that. So, this painting I have in my hand is called España y Filipina, which basically means Spain and Philippines. This painting was painted by Juan Luna in 1884, apparently, and this painting is supposed to represent the Spanish guiding the Filipino. As you can see, there's a woman in red who is taller and there's a Filipino woman who's shorter and the Spanish lady wearing red is guiding the Filipino woman on the side. So Juan Luna, he was an artist who studied in Europe. He also studied in the Philippines but he went to Europe to study painting and he got famous from there. He was a political activist during his time in the Philippine Revolution. So this painting comes from my great-great-grandma. My grandma was born in the 1930s and my great-grandma was born in 1901. So that means my great-great-grandma, she was born in the 1800s. The story with this painting is that there is some tampering with it. You might be wondering, why is there tampering? Where's this tampering from? Story sounds crazy, but so when my grandma was younger, they had an assistant in the house that started painting on top of this. So that's why there's some tampering. As you notice that the girl's dress is a little uh, purple and at the bottom, there's a signature. It says 1930s, but that was by the guy who tampered with this painting. I got this painting from my grandma's house when she passed away. And I was trying to figure out if this was real and I did some research on it. I tried to figure out if it was painted after the 1930s. I searched online and it says that cloth, the type of, you could determine the age of a painting by the type of cloth that is used on the canvas. And I determined that this canvas was an open weave and I opened this up, but I don't want to open it up again because this could be lead paint and I could get brain damage. If it's an open weave with dark to beige color, that means it's likely painted in the 1800s. So that was one of my clues. And my second clue was that my great, great, grandma was born in the 1800s. This is where things get crazy. So after I did some research, apparently this painting, Juan Luna made several copies, almost half a dozen, three that are known where they are, but there's also three, likely three that they don't know where they are. And this could be one of the three that's like gone. This painting's detail is incredible. If you look at the verified real paintings, the detail is exactly precisely the same because they have a large version of this and this could be the smaller version that Juan Luna made. I checked the price of this painting and I checked how much it costed and I figured out that in Hong Kong, one of these was auctioned for $3.34 million USD. Given the evidence, this was from my great-great-grandma born in the 1800s and this was painted in 1884 and there's three missing. This could be it. This could be it, guys. I could be a millionaire. I could be a millionaire if I cash this out. You might be wondering why I never got it tested. I just don't know how, where and how to get it tested. And since I'm in Canada, I don't really know any historians who could look at this and tell me if it's real. So if you guys could help me figure out if this is legit, then I'm a millionaire, guys. Woo! Woo! Actually, I don't even know if he'll sell for a million because of the tampering. So, yeah, we'll have to find out how this goes. Yes, I might get this. I think I'm going to get it tested soon. Get the piece of the cloth and if it dates to the 1800s, this could be very real. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you guys could help me figure out if this painting is real, or if it's not, I don't know. If you guys could just help me some way, somehow, just let me know.